for most of this morning i've just not been able to think clearly or even talk clearly because the car i'm in has just demanded all of my processing power and then some if it's outlandish shape that almighty exhaust note and the space age cabin haven't given it up already i'm in the lamborghini huracan and boy am i on a road where i can let this bull loose the road is a fantastic national highway 3 that links mumbai to nashik and beyond My drive starts at Thane with Igatpuri on the outskirts of Nashik being our final destination. The surface is pristine and on a clear day you can see kilometers ahead of you. Quite helpful when you have a car capable of blasting you into the horizon if you choose to misbehave with it. Seriously, just hear the numbers. 602 bhp from a 5.2 liter V10. 0-100 kph, 3.2 seconds. Top speed, 325 kilometers per hour, and perhaps some more. But I'm not going to put those figures to the test today. All I can tell you is that every time I dig my foot into the throttle pedal, this thing just takes off. It goes for the horizon with the absolute vengeance. Lamborghini lets you adjust the well lunacy level on the Huracan too. The Huracan gets the anima toggle which lets you choose just how wild you'd like proceedings to be. It'll go from dignified madcap to certified lunatic at the touch of a button. Whatever be your level of bravery, the sound the Huracan makes is never short of epic. Any car that does 8000 rpm really gets my vote, but when you do it in a Lamborghini, it's a little bit more special. This one wails, it howls, it shrieks, it pops, it crackles, it just does about everything you could want it to. And thanks to that quick shifting dual clutch gearbox, acceleration is relentless, and that soundtrack also just doesn't stop at any point of time. Oh! The fun amplifies as we reach the Kasara Ghat. The road works its way up and throws in a lot of twists and turns along the way. It's wide and well paved and almost built for Lamborghinis. Today it's the Huracan that's painting this part of Maharashtra a very bright shade of red. The Huracan comes with four wheel drive so grip levels are phenomenal and uh, you don't really need to be a bullfighter to really drive this car hard. It's not as wild as Lamborghinis of old but that's a positive or a negative depending on where you stand on the bravery scale. Either way The Huracan really 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 sucks you into the experience. It's just incredible. Especially on a road like this. Man, driving a Lamborghini in India certainly tops my list of driving experiences yet. Thankfully, we're also slowly but surely getting the roads where you can actually drive a car as special as this. This stretch of National Highway 3 certainly is in that list. As for the car itself, I'm blown away. Just plain and simply wow. It's as fast, as dramatic, as frantic as you'd expect of a Lamborghini. Yet it proves surprisingly nice on the well, not so nice sections of the road itself. So, is this a Lamborghini for all seasons? I guess I need a bit more time in the car to give you an honest opinion on that. So that's a question I'll ponder over on my journey back to Mumbai. So, adios.